Welcome to Crafting Home with Tully. My name is David and today we are going to be making these rather cool, kind of abstract, watercolour designs. Now to get this sort of pattern, we're going to be using greaseproof paper or baking paper uh, to make these kind of bubbly effects, which is actually really, really fun to do. So I'll go grab my bits. So the first thing you need are some watercolour paints and a pot of water. You'll also need a paintbrush, some greaseproof paper, some paper towel to dry your brushes off on, and a piece of paper. I'm using watercolour paper because it dries a bit better. Don't worry if you don't have any, you could just use normal paper as well. So to do this, what we're going to do is I'm going to move that to there, make a bit of space here, and pop my piece of paper down just there. So, first thing I'm going to do is make, I think I'm going to go for some green first. I'm just going to get that nice and ready to go. There we go. I'm going to grab a piece of greaseproof paper. Now, with this method, it's a bit difficult to do proper designs. So you could do wavy designs and maybe you just keep doing the wavy bits for now. We'll see how it comes out. Now, obviously, you'll have your own method of doing this. You'll have your own designs you want to do. But I just thought wavy bits look quite nice. So I'll just wash my brush off, dry it quickly. And then I'm going to pop it this corner here, I think. And just carefully wipe it down. And there we go. So that's the start of it. Now, you'll see I've still got a bit of paint on there, so I'm just going to quickly dry it off. There we go. And do another colour. Now, greaseproof paper works for maybe two or three colours, and then you need to get a new piece because it starts to take off the waxy layer um, that makes this work. So I'm going to go for a nice blue colour this time, and I think I'm going to do a spirally shape. I noticed the whole spiral doesn't come out the first time, so you just need to keep trying a bit. And it gives you this nice sort of layered effect. You get a few different stripes on this spiral. With some bubbles a bit smaller than others, it's really quite nice. And this one is going to go just here. As you can see, I'm just pressing that down to make sure I get that on the page. Pull it up and you get another really interesting pattern. I'm just going to wipe that off. Now that one, you can see there, it's starting to crinkle a bit and it's losing its, um, it's losing that layer. So I'm going to actually put this to one side. I might use the back later when it's dried off. Now I think I'm going to do some red next because that'll stand out really nicely against the green and the blue. So I'm going to grab a new piece of paper. Go for my kind of red colour. This time, I think I'm just going to do a bit of a splatter pattern. So I'm just going to load my brush up and go... Now you can see actually under that that my page is still a bit wet, so I have got some of the blue paint on the other side of this, but that's okay. So you see I get the splatter pattern, but it's all tiny little bubbles of red. So I'm going to put that in the middle and just carefully press it down. And this might smudge some of the colours, but it might also blend them a bit. So you can see I've got a bit of the red and the blue mixing there, making a little bit of a purple bit in the centre, which is really quite nice. I'm just going to wipe off that again and get it ready for another colour. Hmm. Now that I've mentioned purple, actually, I think I might use the lovely purple I have. I think this time I'm going to do some more kind of wavy lines. I'm going to put it just down here, I think. So I'm going to do... So you can see there, because the the layer, the waxy layer is coming off on the middle, I'm losing a lot of the paint colour. So I just need to go over it again. And I'll do it this way. And another one just there as well. So. That's probably enough for this one. 
I'm going to pop it just there and gently press it down, peel off. You can see I've got some purple wavy patterns. Now I think this corner up here is looking a little bit empty, so I'm just going to turn it around. I'm going to put something up here, and I think this painting is nearly done. Now I think I'm going to go with a dark green at this top corner. So I'm going to grab my dark green, get it nice and wet, ready to go. Of course you can use whatever colours you want, any patterns, any shades, all that sort of stuff, and you'll have a lot more time than I do. I think I'm going to do some circles as well. So I'm just going to do, so you can see that some of it is coming off really, really well. Sometimes it just struggles a little bit. So just keep going around if you're trying to do a circle. Just run your brush and do it a few times and you start to get the right shapes. Now what's cool about this method, if you used it, you could use it with like a brownie color and it could look almost like someone's put a cup of coffee down on it and things like that. It's actually quite a fun, effective way of making interesting patterns. So I think this, these ring shapes are going to go just here. All the way across there. Now I'm going to lift that up. And you can see some of them have smudged a bit, but actually that looks really nice. And I think I'm going to do one last bit down in this corner using this very bright purpley colour as well, this one here. I'm just going to get that ready to go. And I think this time I'm just going to do another, a bit like the, the orangey red, I'm going to do a bit of a splatter. So just go brush it along a few times. There we go. Just clean my brush off. Stick it down and just carefully wipe over it again. And there we go. Now I'm going to set this aside to dry properly. And it looks just about done. Looks really nice with my other one. So you've got, you should have plenty of time to have a bit of a go at this. And this method just looks, it looks very interesting, a bit abstract as well, which is quite nice. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I really hope you tune in again soon. Thanks for watching.